So, my two is very important. Yeah. We, we have a nice day here, but one will not make it. I will mention to you, that is Skeptra. He is a traditional sculptor in the world. And we have quite a few uh, pieces in our collections. Very unusual today because you have to have a studio to chisel, to cut, you know, those are the traditional classic forms that Nari Skatra created. One, two, three, four, five. Both in classic forms or representational forms as well as abstraction. He has also behind you is the black and white. And those are rather abstract forms. One is in the middle, you cannot see, is a white one. And a small human figure that also belongs to him. And he has another piece which is standing with an abstract form. One, two more pieces up on the wall, the bird, flying bird and one on the standing balance. So those are the product of Nadis Petra. And he is also a wonderful cabinet of furniture makers. So he sold, imagine, beautiful pieces, couple of them, so he has to bring to the owner for both pieces. So unfortunately, he cannot be with us, but he said hello to everybody. So he he's the only one in wood that he used hard wood, to cut and chisels and made those forms. Okay, so I I think I said enough. And first first speaker is Luke. Luke. Hello, hello, Luke. <laughs> Luke's piece is right on the wall. Could you please point out? Square. It's a hard wood, maple and oak. Is that it? Cherry. And cherry. And looks looks like chessboard. But how did he make what? It's a hard wood. That's what he is going to explain. Okay. Hi, how are you? Um, I've been working with wood for about 10 years now. Um, I am interested in wood because it's a raw material that has a life of its own. It's also very important because not only is it functional, but it's a natural resource that is renewable. However, in our post-industrial world, it is often reduced to a highly manufactured resource overlooked because of its ubiquity. Nowadays, people want their wooden floors to look the same and be free of imperfections. And as a building material, it gets highly processed into plywood. But when deciding to use wood, I didn't want to focus simply on binding and carving the most interesting single piece of wood from nature. Old master sculptors would spend months in the quarry selecting the best piece of veined marble, but I wanted to go a step further with wood and create my own composite block made a composite block made from different pieces using both plain and imperfect pieces to imbue it with new life and imaginative dimension. Thus, my creative process embraces both additive and subtractive methods of sculpting. I begin by laminating individual, often contrasting pieces of wood. This creates a visual language of geometric patterns 